Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about what really happened in the 800 meter athletics men's finals near the finish line. So guys, before this video, um, I just want to make a disclaimer that I'm not really a professional who can really talk about the details of this, but I just want to state my opinion of what really happened there and then my I just want to share my point of view of who is correct or who did the mistake there and because I received a lot of uh, comments from my previous video that the Filipino cheated, the Vietnamese cheated and then it, I really felt the need that I need to make a vlog or review about this, an in-depth detailed review. So guys, let's start and then I... I will be uh, talking in English because I can see that there's a lot of Vietnamese or even other nationalities who are watching that video and then let's start. So basing on this video guys, basing from this video last 80 meters Van Tai Duong was really surging making a kick and then he was really chasing Carter Lily and then just pause here and then looking at this angle it looks like that um, Carter Lily was clipped by Vietnam from behind that's why I wouldn't really blame my fellow Filipinos who are talking about that they got cheated here in this event but there's a replay about this and let's look at the other angle and then what, let's see uh, what really happened so looking at this angle guys you can see that Van Tai Duong is at second lane and then Carter Lily is at the first lane I really checked this one uh, out who really initiated the contact first where in, in this angle it's clear that Carter Lily made a contact. Guys, if um, it's not really clear to you, first angle, of course, it's you're looking at a one sided uh, angle, and then if you look clearer for another angle, you will see the whole picture, and then we shouldn't be really fast to judge, and then we leave it to the officials who are really officiating or judging the event because they are expert in their field guys they, they are called officials because they are really well experienced enough to know what's right from wrong in doing the track and field uh, events and also I, I can see that there's a lot of emotions, mixed emotions going on here but uh, frankly speaking I'm also rooting for Carter Lily to really win the race but I just want a fair judgment about the uh, what really happened to the event. At the end of the race, he was uh, asked by the reporters and then he told the reporters that he has no one to blame but himself because he didn't really perform as he expected to be. And then um, Dong Van Tai is really a class runner as well. so. Hats, hats off to both uh, runners. I just want to make a uh, shout out to those who are telling the Vietnamese that he cheated. This guys, hopefully this video could clarify everything. Uh, what do you think? But for me, no one really cheated here. It's just an instinct. And then also everything is quite normal to a track and field race. For those who are also telling that a Filipino cheated of course guys it's really an instinct for a runner in front to really impede the path of the one the runner who's right behind you considering it's nearly the finish line so guys take this uh, opinion of mine as a grain of salt i'm not really a a professional runner or a professional judge to really uh, go through the detail of this but there was no protest um, that was raised by the Philippine team as they saw that it's just normal so guys again 
hope this clarifies everything and then thank you for watching this video if you like this video please do click the like button and then also guys if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe this is again talking chinoy signing out guys